do you have any people being paid by the CIA who are contributing to a major circulation American journal? We do have people who submit pieces to other to American journals. Do you have any people paid by the CIA who are working for television networks? This, I think, gets into the kind of uh, getting into the details, Mr. Chairman, that I'd like to get into an executive session. Hey, Anderson, we had a great interview last time. I was wondering if you get a chance to look into Operation Mockingbird? I, you know what that is. You're talking about something, what, from the 1950s, dude? 1970s official declassified program, how the CIA infiltrated the mainstream media from the higher ups. <laughs> right. It's declassified. I read about it in college, yes, I do. Nice. Do you think it's something that could ha possibly be happening today? I have no comment for you. Thanks, dude. Why not? I mean, you didn't have any journalistic training except CIA training. I mean, yeah. Brilliant is how a top Western official called tricking the public through routine faking of atrocities and commonly aired on mainstream bulletins. Nightly news shows just a few cases of what happened next after mainstream cameras ended their reports. It shows people putting on, you know, fake wounds. It shows there's some guys there. Look, there's their head wounds. Peace, everybody. You know, we're doing the right thing. We're, we're creating fake propaganda. I mean, it's not even real atrocities. So they're there lined up. There was another video that shows some guy kicking his leg and with a fake blood wound. Here's a guy who wakes up from his funeral. Watch this. They're, they're, they're uh, reading. Oh, there. Oh, wait. There. Oh, he's awake. He's not even really dead. And so, I mean, this is just crazy what goes on. There was another video that was shot of, of a supposed massacre. And it cuts. Uh, you don't see the whole thing. When you go to the Al Jazeera footage, it shows real quick clips of a guy kicking his leg and he's got blood coming out which turned out to be fake blood. A Sandy Hook victim who dies again in Pakistan. This is an amazing article. If you look at these pictures, uh, it's still up on Infowars.com. Photo of a child killed at Sandy Hook shows up at the Pakistani school shooting. Now, that school shooting was one where they had uh, 136, I believe, was the count of children that were killed by terrorists in Pakistan. But they have one picture that is prominently featured over and over again. And we have this documented in this article from Adon Salazar. Over and over again, this one child who was one of the children that we were shown as a victim at Sandy Hook. And it really does bring up the question as to what's going on here. Intelligence agencies have infiltrated and created some satanic groups. With the resurgence of these groups beginning in 1966, particularly with the birth of the Church of Satan, founded by Anton LaVey. LaVey studied criminology in San Francisco and worked in the San Francisco Police Department Crime Lab. He also worked as an informant for Interpol. Prior to the Church of Satan, LaVey ran a group called the Magic Circle. LaVey's most famous associate is the National Security Agency General Michael Aquino. At the time of his membership in LaVey's group, Aquino was an army specialist in intelligence and psychological warfare. In the late 1980s, Aquino was accused by the San Francisco Police Department of being involved in a satanic child molestation ring centered on the daycare at the Presidio military base where Aquino was stationed at the time. It is important to remember that General Aquino is first and foremost a military intelligence officer with over 40 years experience in counterinsurgency operations and an expert in psychological warfare. General Aquino's psychological warfare campaign has started or infiltrated cults and other closed systems as part of a concerted effort to control large numbers of people and to destabilize the centers of constitutional and legal authority both here in the United States and in other nations. Perhaps the most vital directive in Weishaupt's plan was to obtain absolute control of the press, at that time the only mass communications media, to distribute information to the public so that all news and information could be slanted 
so that the masses could be convinced that a one-world government is the only solution to our many and varied problems. Now do you know who owns and controls our mass communications media? I'll tell you, practically all the movie lots in Hollywood is owned by the Laymans, Kuhn Loeb and Company, Goldman Sachs, and other internationalist bankers. All the national radio and TV channels in the nation are owned and controlled by those same internationalist bankers. The same is true of every chain of metropolitan newspapers and magazines, also of the press wire services, such as Associated Press, United Press International, etc. The supposed heads of all those media are merely the fronts for the internationalist bankers who, in turn, compose the hierarchy of the CFR, today's Illuminati in America. And one of the biggest arguments against conspiracy theorists goes like this. If your conspiracy is true, they would have said it on the news. Oh, precious parakeet, you see, you don't understand. You do not know what they do with the news. See, the news is fake. What you're seeing is scripted. It's as if all of them are reading off the same teleprompter. Don't you understand? You will not ever get the real information because they block it out. They're not giving you specific information, unique information. And if they do venture off to the side, it's still approved from the boys on top because they have to sell you the New World Order agenda. You're saying, oh, this sounds like a conspiracy you're telling me right now. I know, precious parakeet. Your mama done kept you in the basement too long. Your daddy kept you in the cage. You didn't get to see about the real world, but I am going to show you. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. Well, a child's happiness is priceless, right? Especially when you got a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is wow. priceless, especially on their birthday. A child's happiness is priceless. This is your news. A child's happiness is priceless, especially when it comes to their birthdays. Absolutely. A child's happiness Absolutely. is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially, especially on, on a birthday. birthday. Well, uh -huh. a child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's smile is priceless. Look at her, and she couldn't even get it right. Girl, it's right in front of your face. Read it at least right. Come on now. Priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. Mm -hmm. You know, a child's happiness is... And look at him. He just took it and ran with it. He made it his own. Come on. Priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. So what did you learn from that? A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday? No, no, no. It's fake. It's not a coincidence. All those people saying the same thing. In the heart of this great city, we saw tragedy arrive on a quiet morning. September the 11th. September the 11th. September the 11th. September 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 11, 2001. Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein. Saddam. 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 Saddam Hussein. War 
and danger. Continuing danger. Hour of danger. Very, very dangerous world. A grave new threat. Horrific acts of atrocities. Murderous regimes dedicating to killing us. Tyranny and terror. Slaughtered thousands. Weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. Weapons programs. The deadliest of weapons. Terrible weapons. Nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons. Poison gas. Torture chambers. Mass graves. Deadly technologies. Radical ideology of hate. Terror of threats. Terror. 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 War on terrorism. War against terrorism. Global war on terror. Global terrorism. 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 The evil terrorists. 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 Ted Gunderson. FBI veteran. Former head of the regional office in Los Angeles. Is there a network of these satanic murderers in this country, do you allege? I can say that based on information furnished to me by confidential sources and informants, based on interviews with dozens of uh, uh, survivors from the satanic uh, operations uh, through the years, satanic beliefs, etc., I can say that there is a network of these people across the country who are very active. Uh, they have their own rest and relaxation farm. Uh, they are in contact with each other, it ties in loosely to the drug operation, uh, ties into motorcycle gangs, and it goes on and on. They have their own uh, people who are specialized in surveillances and photography uh, and in assassinations. Forget the politicians. They're, they're, they're an irrelevant. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media, media news, all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls because they own this fucking place. It's a big club, and you ain't in it. You and I are not in the big club. And skull and bones, the secret society. And during the initiation rites, you could hear strange cries and whispers coming from the skull and bones, too. Despite a lifetime of attempts to get inside, the best Rosenbaum could do was hide out on the ledge of a nearby building a few years ago to videotape a nocturnal initiation ceremony in the tomb's courtyard. The initiates are told that they are superior beings and are part of a privileged elite who use war, terror, and famine to control Earth's human population. It's so sacred we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? There are secrets that George W. Bush guards at least as carefully as any entrusted to a president. Secrets he's forbidden to share even with the vice president. Secrets he's held ever since his days at Yale, where in his senior year, like his father and his grandfather, he belonged to Skull and Bones, the elite secret society whose members include some of the most powerful men of the 20th century. Also, are you a member, are you a member of Skull and Bones? Bush, were you in the same secret society? Well, that's all right. Let me answer this question. Excuse me, were you ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is anybody watching this? I can't do anything. Ow! 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 That's what makes us a great country. That people can stand up and tell people what's on their mind. Do you have any people being paid 
by the CIA who are contributing to a major circulation American journal. We do have people who submit pieces to other two American journals. Do you have any people? You didn't have any journalistic training except CIA training. I mean, yeah. Brilliant is how a top Western official called tricking the public through routine faking of atrocities and commonly aired on mainstream bulletins. Nightly news shows just a few cases of what happened next after mainstream cameras ended their... Mockingbird? <laughs> you know what that is. You're talking about something, what, from the 1950s, dude? 1970s official declassified program how the CIA infiltrated the mainstream media from the higher up. <laughs> right. It's declassified. I read about it in college, yes, I do. Nice. Do you think it's something that could ha possibly be happening today? I have no comment for you, thanks, dude. Why not? I mean, reports. It shows people putting on, you know, fake wounds. It shows there's some guys there. Look, there's their head wounds. Peace, everybody. You know, we're doing the right thing. We're, we're creating fake propaganda. I mean, it's not even real atrocities. So they're there lined up. There was another video that shows some guy kicking his leg and with a fake blood wound, here's a guy who wakes up from his funeral. Watch this, they're, they're, they're uh, reading, oh, there, oh, wait, there, oh, he's awake. Paid by the CIA, who are working for television networks. This, I think, gets into the kind of uh, getting into the details, Mr. Chairman, that I'd like to get into an executive session. Hey, Anderson, we had a great interview last time. I was wondering if you get a chance to look into Operation...